Hey guys, me, Ronald Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. All right, here's what I'm seeing this morning. So most places across the West are feeling the heat right now. It is abnormally warm with high freezing levels uh, across most of the West. And there's an area of high pressure sitting over the Intermountain West, Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico. Freezing levels in those states are running like eight to 11,000 feet, incredibly warm for late January. Now, all the moisture is being directed up into the Pacific Northwest and BC right now. And the freezing levels up there, seven to 9,000 feet, very high. And that precludes a lot of places from seeing good snowfall. You gotta go very high. First week of February, still on track, two different storm systems. The first storm appears to be the stronger of the two, and now it looks like it could deliver a moderate intensity atmospheric river surge to the Sierra as it comes in late 30, 31 into 2-1. And then that storm would break loose and move into the interior. Behind it, there's a second storm system on its coattails for 2-5 to 2-8. In the northeast, you've got light snow coming 2-1 and 2-2. All right, let me show you water vapor satellite imagery this morning. Here's the rich flow being directed up into the Pacific Northwest. Very high snow levels. First week of February, this big trough that's been sitting back here and spinning for about a week will eventually break loose. There's a jet streak that comes on that's running through the subtropical jet that will eventually pick it up and the whole thing will move into California with that AR surge and then eventually it moves into the interior states. There's a second low behind it that will rotate in as well. Here's the forecast radar and satellite. That's the situation by this afternoon. All right, here it comes. 131, late in the day, hits the Sierra in a 2-1. Then the storm moves into the interior. A couple of notes here. At the onset, this storm is going to run into very warm air. And then the, the temperatures, the air temps, will progressively get colder each day. So colder on 2-2, colder 2-3, 2-4, 2-5, and beyond. Because, again, it's going to be very warm when this thing comes in. All right, let's move ahead. Here's 2-2 in the afternoon. Storm spins up in Colorado. Here's 2-3 afternoon. The low spins up somewhere in southeast Colorado. Confidence is low as, the, as to the intensity, but it will enhance the snow across Colorado, especially right on top of the Continental Divide and along the Front Range. All right, 2-4 in the morning. Storm exits by afternoon. Here comes storm number 2, 2-5 two into 2-8. Pulls out of California with widespread snow. This is 2-7 in the morning snow across most of the interior. And by the time we get into very late in the day, you can see what the pattern is. It's, it's basically the same. So this storm is gonna last into 2.8. I mean, that's the bottom line. First storm, 2.1 to 2.4. Second storm, 2.5 to 2.8. All right, let's talk about the jet stream. So this is 2.1 right at the onset. Uh, initial low pressure is riding the nose of the jet streak and it plows in. Um, 2.7. You can see the second storm system with that trough moving through California. Because it's deeper, um, it's probably going to slow this storm down. So it, it will last into 2.8, maybe even 2.9. Okay, um, let's talk about snow by time period. So this is today through 131. Nothing for the interior. It's all west coast and BC at very high elevations. Here's the grand total map, 2.1 through 2.7. And looking at about 1 to 2 feet for the Tetons, parts of Idaho. Utah, Colorado, and quite a bit more in the Sierra, assuming both storms hold together and we get that AR surge. Uh, anywhere in purple is generally a foot or more. I'll break it down by time period and by storm here in just a second. So 2-1 through 2-4, this is the first storm system. Um, 1 to 2 feet in California, about a foot in the Tetons, about a foot in the Wasatch, and 8 to 12 for Colorado. Fair amount up in Idaho and Montana as well. That's the bigger storm. Second time period, 2.5 through 2.7. If we were to go into 2.8, we'd see some additional accumulation in Colorado. But this one brings another one to two feet for, for California in the Sierra, and then a little bit less for the interior. All right, let's go to the northeast. Very light snow, 2.1 through 2.2, and that's probably going to do it. I don't have anything else. I don't have any other stronger storm system, so very light accumulation, 129 through 2.7. So we'll end on the grand total map, 2.1 through 2.7. Again, still very exciting. Two different storm systems possible. Uh, guys, thanks for tuning in here. I always appreciate it, and take care.